that's the correct decision. Been a lot of decisions so early on in the match. Yeah, but I think the fact that there's been a couple of no lets will set the tone and will make the players play the ball oh, more. That is ferocious. And out by four. Important point for Waters. Stroke to go hard. Well, if Game they gave a stroke for the previous one, that was always going to be a stroke. So first blood goes to Noren Gohar here. Well, she should really have had a review there. She's done well to just keep herself within two points here because it's been a real onslaught from Gohar. And out by two. Still a three point lead though for Gohar. It's going to be a stroke Drop for Waters. Water. Well done by the English player, so going into a tie break. Game ball for Waters. Did you see that though? That, that made Gohar go on and play it because she knew it. Forehand and backhand. Third game ball for the Egyptian player. There you go. Well closed out, trademark James kill Gohar. from Goha. There's been a lot of straight driving in this game. Again though, Waters, just as Goha was looking like she might pull away, she's like, oh, that's not helping her cause. Yeah, it's a big opportunity for Waters. Carved the opening and then didn't quite get it right. So a bit of a mountain to climb now for Waters. That is a lovely finish, though. And out by me. Hasn't hit too many winners on that backhand. Well, that to is going to be that. It's a review, Player but it's review. a definite stroke. There you go. Stroke to Gohar, decision upheld. One of the few that we Back actually Gohar, agreed with. Three games to love. 11-7, 41 minutes, Noren Gohar taking out Alison Waters, 3-love, 11-7, 13-11, 11-7. Sharp work from Blatchford. Pouncing. Just feel that the pace that Blatchford is playing at is just rocking Perry slightly in terms of her movement. She's being left staggering and off balance. And for me, that is a clear sign that she needs to slow it down and take the pace out of the game slightly. a shot from Blatchford. <laughs> Such a good shot. Very difficult to hit from there. I mean, it wasn't exactly a percentage shot. Perry was right. Swing. But then she takes the ball in short and she does it very quickly. She gets it all happening quickly into the front and it takes time away from the opponent. You've got two things going on. Because you make the opponent hold their movement and then you make them have to go quickly. She's on absolute fire here, Olivia Blatchford. The last four rallies have pretty much been unplayable. And there's that little 
cross court again. Seven, eight. Game to Blanchford. Seven, three. off at the end of that third game. And she made sure with the drop Eight there, hit, hit it with a little bit more pace, but she caught the nick. Oh, she's done well to get herself back to eight. Again, Perry taking the pace out of that drive. She should have done this in the first two games, but it's definitely making a difference for Perry. Well, Blatchford has used her. Well, Blatchford livid with this decision. Games off. What do you think? I think? No, I think that's the right decision. She doesn't clear. Yeah, well, she's stuck on that ball. It's not really very tough. We've had 62 minutes of hard battling squash between these two. Out. This time it's Perry's ball. movement that just looks slightly slug. Yeah, she plays it well, even when she's not necessarily picking the right shot. The execution is so good. Well, that is exactly what Blatchford needed. Two Seven really all. quick points for her. Having saved four in the previous game. Well, and she's done it. That Seven is a huge Blatchford battling Perry. win Three for Sarah two. Jane Perry. Unfortunate for Olivia Blanchford, she played so, so well for a huge amount of it. She will be distraught, but both players should take a bow. It's a thoroughly entertaining squash. 66 minutes, Sarah Jane Perry winning 3-2. She's hardly got the energy to throw that ball out. Almost hit Vanessa Atkinson on the head with it, actually. 11-7, 11-8, 9-11, 13-15, 7-11. from Metwali in this rally. There's only take one loose shot though and you're punished by the world number one. And out. There is the father Eight of Nuro Shabini. Nuro Shabini able to make the court so more. big for an opponent. Just too far for Metwali to run. Five game balls for the number one seed. And there it is. Perfect shot into the back corner. Shabini. Shabini leads one game to left. Just from the times I've seen her play, I haven't seen enough evidence of that sort of toughness that you need against those top players. And out. 
I'm now at 6 5. Oh, wonderful skills. Silky skills Seven, from six. Matuali. I mean, this type of player will favour Matuali. She doesn't want too many long rallies. Three game balls. There's the error from El Shabini. Matuali rewarded for some really good attacking squash there. Incredible winner. If it had been a millimetre higher. Well, wow. that is a winner. So clean and crisp off the racket of Matuali. Not really much. Whereas, obviously, Shabini has a lot to lose. Has to be a no let. Another game ball for El Shabini. Twelve ten. Game to Shabini. Shabini Closed wins. it out. Two games to one. Another winner from Matuali. She doesn't need much space on the court to hit a winner. She's a little bit fortunate catching the draw. And oh, it's absolutely rolled that cross court. And now 11 all. Go, that's it. Shabini on to that ball really quickly. Brave fight Shabini, from Marion Matuali. 11-5, 41 minutes, Noel Shabini, the number one seed, beating Marion Matuali 3 1. 11 5, 7 11, 12 10, 13 11. Of English uh, origin, born in England, grew up in England. There's good pressure from Victoria Last in the width, just beyond the reach of Massaro. Very well played. Seven and four. It's not moving onto the ball. She's not uh, backing herself physically here. Do you see that initial step is going deeper into the court? It's, it's an indication that she's not fully confident in her movement. There again, she stepped backwards to then try and move forwards. Nine and five. The split step there actually went back in towards the court, towards the back door, and there she... Eleven six. Well, it's a history-breaking uh, first game there from the Victoria Lust, a very, very worried-looking David Pearson. Starting to try and step up on that volley now, Laura. Right up. It's nice work with the racket face. So confidence building in the 34-year-old. However, there is one challenging both of those camera no, angles. That's camera two. I don't think there's anything between any of them. There's Absolutely nothing between nothing them in at it. all. <laughs> <laughs> how close it is. Well, it's not a particularly good forehand volley drop from Masara. It clips the side wall first, but Seven the fact that five. she's taken it in front takes time away from Lust. Eleven eight game to Masaro. One game.
There's the war cry from Laura Mazzaro. Hand out. We've heard that. First time Eight, we've heard nine. that this match, PJ. Yeah, she's in the tin. That is a poor shot. It was an average shot 11, from last. Laura Mazzaro thundering at the tin. Masaro leaping to a 9-3 lead. I'll say that. <laughs> Stop. Eating my words if he gets to 8-10. We're hungry. Better width again. Down. And then you can see the advantage of getting length and width on this court. She's putting Victoria Lust into quite difficult positions on the court now, using the height a lot better. See there. We just played that backhand trickle boast a few too many times now. Laura Masaro, Victoria Lust read that. Punished match balls to move on in this tournament of champions. Playing two English compatriots in a row. Sometimes these kind of matches can actually allow a player to really go relax for event, yeah. and release. She's actually frame one for the winner. She'll take it. 11-3. Just Nine tried to find Masaro. a way to win today, Laura Masaro. Three games to two. Six, 11. 11 8. 8-11, 11 So 52 minutes, Laura Mazzaro overcoming Victoria Lust from two games to one down to win in five games.